Hey there guys, Jordan here, back with another reaction video, and it's going to be another death battle, and this death battle is Scooby-Doo vs. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Well, how about that? A battle between two cowardly canines. Granted, this isn't the first time they collaborated with each other, but it's the first time we're actually going to see them battle against each other. And I'm not sure why they would release it at this time, uh, considering that this is, seems like a Halloween-themed episode. But I guess there were some delays. I mean, that's my best guess. But in any case, let's see how uh, these two will duke it out, despite them being pretty much scared of everything. Alrighty then. And let's begin. Scooby Doo, the miraculous mutt from Mystery Incorporated. Courage, the cowardly dog, straight out of nowhere. Canis familiaris, man's best friend, the dog. No animal yep. companion has stood by humanity's side as long or as loyal. Huh, Even yeah. Maybe especially these two yellow bellied, lily livered, scaredy cats. Uh huh. Dogs. He's wears an iron boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Alright, first up, Scooby-Doo. Throughout the ages, countless philosophers have posited the same question time and time again. Scooby Which is... Scooby-Doo, where are you? Ah. Pretty much everywhere, from cartoons to comics, from video games to board games, from live theater... To the most incredible major motion picture of all time, he's the okay, greatest then. since Hamlet. But his monumental presence in popular culture belies his humble origins. Born to Momsy and Dada do Alright, background, full name, Scoobert Do. Species, Great Dane. Anunnaki. Height, 2 foot 4, 72 centimeters. Weight, 331 pounds, 150 kilograms. Age, 7, in dog years. Has a driver's license, same birthday as Bigfoot, Friends with Courage the Cowardly Dog. Okay. Alright. Seems a bit strange to put this fact in, considering that's who his opponent will be. But, wow. So this dog is so smart that he has his own driver's license, and has the same birthday as Bigfoot. Hmm. I wonder if there was any Scooby-Doo installation where they actually come across Bigfoot. I suppose that's something to keep in mind at a future date. Do in Doosville, USA. Ah, Doosville ain't what it used to be ever since they moved all those manufacturing jobs to Bangladesh. The okay then. Was adopted by the Rogers family and their prodigal gluttonous son, Norville. Better known by his friends as Shaggy. Yep, that's true. Dinkley, Daphne Blake, Fred Jones, and sometimes... <laughs> oh. With their powers combined, they are Mystery Incorporated. A uh -huh. snot-nosed teenagers traveling the Nixon era United States in a cushed-up Volkswagen. Foiling seemingly paranormal crimes and unmasking corrupt authority figures. All of whom... Indeed. They would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids. And their dog! Scoops Trademark. Indispensable in Mystery Inc. investigations. Great Danes were bred by 17th century German nobility to hunt bear, boar, and deer. Which Ooh. means he's a master tracker. Scooby's super sniffer nose can root out the bad guys no matter how well hidden. They were really? Hunda, or chamber dogs, because they stay in their prince's chambers and protect them from assassins. Such brave Cool. Dogs. Too bad for Shaggy and the gang, the apple didn't just fall far from the tree. It defied the laws of Newtonian physics and rocketed into space at the speed of light. Because uh... Scooby is an absolute coward. He's terrified of oh. his own shadow and constantly anxious about everything imaginable. And his only motivation is his delicious Scooby snacks. Which makes yep. it so baffling that he's actually kind of a badass. Scooby's a master of the dupe. A classic technique of cartoon tricksters. Sometimes called the power of positive assertion. 
Scooby flexes his mastery of disguise to fool would-be attackers. Okay. Like chasing zombies as a belly dancer, or tricking a jester into entering an existential crisis. This man Ooh. was so thoroughly convinced to rethink his entire life, he went all the way home and got into bed before realizing he'd been fooled. Obviously, these things uh. shouldn't work at all, but Scooby's just so supernaturally talented, they just do. Uh, see, this is a perfect example. No one in their uh. right mind would think that that's anyone but Boomstick in an awful wig and makeup. That's my mom. Ooh. I'm so sorry, man. You should be. Those disguises sound completely impossible. That's because they are. You might have thought of the Scooby Doo series as being pretty grounded with all its men and masks, but then one day, the mask did not come off. That's right. Ah. It's terrible, terrible. Scooby has been intermint, intermittently probably butchered that word dealing with real supernatural threats since the 1980s ah so since the 80s uh, Scooby had experienced actual supernatural appearances and considering that him and his team are expert mystery solvers at finding the sources and unmasking the causes that's really saying a lot. Again, the monsters started being real, and Scooby became just as bonkers to match. Like, remember those Scooby snacks? They Arsenal, Scooby snacks, Mystery Machine, Super Spooker 3000, Time Scepter, Wonder Wand, Invisible Madman Suit, Instant Monster Ray, Sword of Fate, Tome of Doom, Chest of Demons. Wow. So even though Scooby is literally scared of his own shadow, as they mentioned moments ago, he was able to collect all of these items for his arsenal. Wow. You know, for a dog who's pretty much afraid of everything, Scooby sure is a completely resourceful dog. He started to give him a physical boost in strength, kind of like Popeye's spinach. That's nothing. Shaggy's brilliant uncle, Albert Shaggleford, upgraded those snacks with nanite technology. Ah, nanite Scooby snacks. Blimp, cloning, magnet, supersized, shrink, dolphin, flight, super elasto, supersonic, duplicating, panther, force field, invisibility, monster, anything from his pockets. Oh man. I guess Scooby's completely defenseless unless he has his own uh, supply of Scooby snacks. Uh, not sure what his opponent will have against those, but we'll just have to wait and see. Giving them a variety of different effects. Everything from invisibility, robotic armor, force field, super intelligence, and. Panther! Yeah, nanomachines, dog! And we're just getting started! Ooh. He can stretch and squash his body any way he likes, even duplicating himself or regenerating from damage, like being chopped into pieces, crumbling into... Alright. Abilities. Tune Force, Squash and Stretch Body, Elasticity, Shape-Shifting, Duplication, Flight, Levitation, Plot Manipulation, Hammer space, size manipulation, fourth wall awareness, time manipulation, imagination creation, painting hopping. I see. So Scooby Doo is a master of tune force as well. I mean, it makes sense since he happens to be a tune himself. But his opponent seems to have the same abilities. Uh, not exact, but similar. So, this may be difficult to decide who will be superior considering they both use Tune Force. But I suppose the battle will uh, answer for us when we get to it. Body and soul kept going at the same time. 
That doesn't make sense! He can appear in multiple places at once, ignore the laws of gravity, rewind time with his time scepter or super speed, draw things into existence, and mess with the plot of his own show. Things getting a little Ooh. too spooky for him? He'll just cut to commercial break! He's also... While Scooby has never used plot manipulation comedically, he has never used it offensively to attack an opponent. Ah. So it seems that Scooby only uses plot manipulation when he needs it, not for comedic purposes or to use as an attack for an opponent. Hmm. That may put him at a disadvantage, though. But that's me just saying. We got weapons like the Super Spooker 3000, a gun that instills fear into the hearts of man. And no, no, not like an actual gun. It, it literally shoots fear. Or the chest of Ooh. demons, an ark containing 13 monstrous ghosts. Ghosts! Should you be trapped? While typically used to trap all manners of ghosts and demons, one of the original 13 ghosts was a mortal man who had done their morality stripped by the chest itself. Ah. So this ghost of the 13 ghosts was actually a man who put all the other ghosts' morality stripped away from the, by the chest itself. Well, that's very unusual seeing a ghost more powerful than other ghosts, considering they were inside the same chest. Man, the world of Scooby-Doo is weird. Within its grasp, your body and soul will be imprisoned in everlasting torment in this heretofore undiscovered tenth circle of hell. Neat! Scooby-Doo has dodged laser beams and electromagnetic waves survived being at the epicenter of an explosion that blew up time and successfully performed the Zabrinsky Triangle with Shaggy and Maddie Ziegler. The Zabrinsky Triangle okay. is a dance so unbelievably dangerous that even imperfect executions have caused widespread destruction. When it was so beautiful it literally lit up the entire universe and blew up the enormous snow globe containing it. it wow. You watch the show. Actually, no, it, it doesn't. Taking this literally, we can measure the volume of the broken glass compared to the size of our entire cosmos within it. In order to shatter what is essentially an enormous glass superstructure, each dancer would have to be generating enough energy to destroy our universe 11 quintillion times over. That's right! What? Ziegler is a universe buster. With Scooby-Doo as their nigh-omnipotent... What he's done for a Scooby snack... Trap 12 of 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo, wielded a yellow lantern ring, teacher at the ghoul school, ran backwards in time, tossed a T-Rex skeleton, swapped heads with Shaggy, defeated Simone Lenoir, Professor Pericles, Dick Dastardly, Scrappy-Doo. Hmm. I guess these. this is supposed to be his feats. And, yeah, Scooby doesn't, uh, isn't that easy to, uh, convince unless you offer him one of his trademark Scooby snacks. But, yeah, these are some impressive feats that he has performed, especially since, uh, he has, he's often run away more times than you, than anyone else. I just wonder how his opponent's feats will compare to all of these. I guess we'll just have to keep that in mind for now. The mascot, Mystery Incorporated, has saved the world from alien invasions, wielded the power of a yellow lantern ring, and was even made a member of the Mystery Analysts of Gotham by Ooh. Batman himself. Yes, Batman, the world's greatest detective, recognizes Scooby's skills, even facing down and defeating the evil entity, an eldritch dark god, and surviving its death, which rewrote all of reality. Ooh. Yeah, you know, the 
talking dog that crossed over with the Harlem Globetrotters and Don Knotts defeated Satan. No biggie. So, where is Scooby-Doo? He's solving mysteries and saving the world with his found family. Also, he's an alien. Wait, what? Uh... We interrupt this program. All right, now Curse the Cowardly Dog. The Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog. Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bag. But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. Ooh. It's up to Courage to save his new home. Stupid wind, uh -huh. you made me look bad. Booga, booga, booga! You're breathing on me. Get away. Uh, okay but then. be excited for one of animation's mightiest mutts? Courage is an adorable pink... Alright. Background. Name? Courage. Species? Beagle. Height? Beagle-sized. Owners? Muriel and Eustace Bag. Nicknames? Stupid Dog? Dear Boy? Leone. Not named Stinky Lulu. Thank goodness. Can lay 14 karat golden eggs. Friends with Scooby-Doo. Okay. Again, it's strange that he is friends with uh, the character that he's going to face against. But I suppose they're just going to have to put that aside for now. But, yeah. And this part here, that was a very good callback. So, yeah. Courage does have a more tragic backstory than Scooby. And it's great that he was able to find a new home, even though one of his owners constantly torments him. But he knows that... But one of them he truly cares about, and as long as they're together, he's willing to risk his life to save both of them. So he truly is a loyal dog, even if he is cowardly. Pink Beagle with a heart of gold and an undying love for his doting Scottish mistress. Beagles are hair hunters with intense separation anxiety, excellent senses of smell, and a set of lungs that'll knock your socks off. All of which fits Courage to a T, especially yeah. the howling part. To be fair, yep. Courage has a lot to howl about. Nowhere uh -huh. USA is a magnet for interdimensional weirdness. Attracting yeah. some of the strangest freaks in the world. Like master criminals, cats, and laquack. Mattress demons, mummies, yep. werewolves, mad scientists, gods and goddesses, aliens, robots, alien robots, this chicken, the king of Flan, and of course, the United States government. And poor Courage is absolutely oh, terrified of all of it. But his devotion to Muriel means he'll always step up and fight the good fight. Good thing yep. he's kind of a genius. He's a brilliant engineer capable of whipping up the most devious of traps almost instantly. And he's got an unending supply of tools at his disposal. Everything from his trusty mallet to... Arsenal. Ray gun. Mallet. Magic tree of nowhere. Computer. Banishment spell. God bone. Flamethrower. Giant chainsaw. Mind control helmet and remote. Instant quicksand, gas mask, dark matter meteor. Oh man. It seems that Courage's arsenal is even more insane than Scooby's. And he literally lives in the middle of nowhere, which is the prime magnet of every paranormal activity ever. So, it's amazing how he was able to have all of this in, prepare, in preparation for whatever will happen next in his hometown. I did say that Scooby was resourceful, but Courage changes the definition of resourceful. Grappling hooks, ray guns, flamethrowers, chainsaws, bombs, beagle-sized cannons, yo-yos, a mind control helmet, vampire hunting gear, and the god bone. An ancient artifact that is completely irresistible to any mortal dog, forcing them to lick it until they die. Except for courage, of course. I guess if you have the willpower to stare down a gigantic purple foot mobster, you can resist even the most delicious of treats. And he can pull all of this stuff out of his ass anytime he wants. He always uh -huh. has exactly what he needs. All yep. thanks to his computer named... 
computer. Right. A desktop which knows almost anything and everything, even if he has a bit of an attitude about it. Which means yeah. he's always prepared, especially when he can shapeshift his body into literally anything he can think of. From inanimate objects to monsters to different animation mediums entirely. Courage usually uses this as a form of charades to communicate with others, but don't get it twisted. These aren't yeah. just visual animation gags. His body is actually shapeshifting. Courage's body is a canvas upon which his imagination runs wild. Ooh. He can stretch to crazy length. Abilities. Tune force, squash and stretch body, elasticity, shape-shifting, duplication, flight, levitation, plot manipulation, hammer space, size manipulation, fourth wall awareness, time manipulation, imagination creation, painting hopping. The same as Scooby. Oh. So I guess Courage has the exact same tune force abilities as Scooby. Well, this seems to be, it's going to be a very, uh, undecisive death bow we got here. I mean, considering their abilities are almost exactly the same, or exactly the same as evident here, I'm completely unaware of who exactly will win this fight. But I suppose we'll just have to see when we get to it. Straight to microscopic sizes, turn invisible, appear anywhere he wants, or duplicate himself. He's also effectively immune to damage. Oh, yeah. He still feels pain, but apparently his sheer terror overrides it. Like the times he tore himself in half or turned himself fully inside out. Jesus the Christ. Vaporized his entire body completely without even ash remaining, and he just popped back good as new. Classic Whoa. cartoon shenanigans, but technically anatomically correct. Until it isn't, yeah. Courage can create objects from his imagination and often breaks the fourth wall, directly addressing the audience. Uh -huh. I think being an impossible to kill force of nature would boost his confidence a bit, but isn't that what anxiety does to you? It undermines uh, your yeah. and magnifies the problems around you. Sure, but Courage yep. is also fighting gods just as powerful as himself. Like this enormous alien which could spike meteors so hard it spun the earth a thousand years into the future. Things he's done for love. Performed an exorcism, tanked a nuclear explosion, physically created a tidal wave, survived being pulverized to dust, pummeled by Valkyries in Valhalla, ran the sun's radius in 8 seconds, defeated evil empress Dr. Zalist, Rumpelstiltskin, Mecha Courage. <laughs> So while Scooby uh, does his feats for Scooby Snacks, these are uh, the things he's done for love. <laughs> I'm really liking these callbacks. But yeah, these are some very unbelievable feats that Courage has achieved. And considering that uh, pretty much every single thing has scared him out of his metam metaphorical pants but yeah this is going to be very hard not sure how exactly uh, his opponent's feats will compare with these feats but it seems that we'll just have to wait until the battle comes for us to know for sure cannon that punched him through the moon only to get slapped by that same alien and sent crashing back to the planet. And he was fine. Ooh. Courage is strong enough to physically patch up holes in the ozone layer, hold stars in his hands, and scream so loud he shattered the sun. Yeah. A scream like that would be like getting hit with over 100 septillion hydrogen bombs all at once. Wow. You know. A lot. And keep in mind, the sound waves of his scream would have had to travel through the near vacuum of space. Basically, a complete scientific impossibility. Next time, I'm my beers in the fridge with LaCroix. I'm getting my boy Jack Spaniels to blow up the sun. You've been warned. Okay, then. That's 
not all. One time he operated a peloton controlling a UFO, and pedaled it fast enough to fly past Saturn, enter hyperspace, and cross the Milky Way galaxy. Though Courage's Ooh. greatest challenge came from inside his very home. A monster who tortures his poor pooch every single day. Gee, I wonder what that is. Poker, the true prince of darkness, the greatest villain in cartoon history. Eustace! He even collected all of Courage's greatest foes like a legion of doom, all to mercilessly beat Courage to a pulp in a game of dodgeball. If yeah. Redneck's a bad name, Wiz. I want to end him. Low. Okay. Uh... Courage's accumulated PTSD always held him back until he met a kindred spirit. Uh huh. A cowardly monster hunting hound. Scooby Doo! Oh, yeah, I remember him. Together, they discovered the source of. The Straight Outta Nowhere crossover gave Courage a legitimate finale and an explanation for nowhere supernatural phenomena. Because of this, it will be considered canon for both dogs. I see. So, even though the original show had a finale, the crossover movie is considered the definitive finale. And it's because of this that this... Uh, crossover movie will be considered canon in both of their worlds so I guess that's uh, nice to know and nice for them to include nowhere's weirdness a dark matter meteor that controlled reality itself originally the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs its dark matter can rewrite the laws of physics control minds and turn courage into a giant kaiju taking the meteor for himself courage finally faced his fears defeating this cicada queen goddess thing and saving his family once and for all yes uh -huh. even eustace Shit. so let that be a lesson to any who would encroach upon the bag's humble farm it has a protector he may be small and he may yep. be scared but standing up to our fears is what makes us brave in the first place that's True. why his name is courage uh-huh all right the combatants are set we run the data through all possibilities it's time for a dog battle oh god when i say it like that it sounds let's get started Ooh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, this thing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. Uh Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. All dogs love their birds, don't they? 
I guess so. Ooh! Oh boy. This could be bad! But my name isn't Chad James! But it's not! Ah. Uh. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Scooby and Courage were portrayed as on par with each other in their crossover. Their physical stats were effectively equalized for this fight, making them a non-factor. So, uh, I guess this means, uh, it's a draw? Huh. Well, considering that, uh, both of their feats were on par because of their crossover movie. I guess we could put it at that. In cosmic feats, you'd think the Zabrinsky Triangle would be enough to seal the deal, but both pooches could regenerate from basically any kind of physical damage. Both were incredibly smart in different ways. Scooby was more of a trickster with his dupes, while Courage was a scheming genius. Computer could have given... Without straight out of nowhere, Courage may still compare to the Zabrinsky Triangle via his crossovers with series like Ben 10 and Billy and Mandy, Fusion Fall, Cartoon Network, Block Party. I see. So Courage would still be able to withstand the Zabrinsky Triangle even without the straight out of nowhere movie confirming it. Man, dogs with Toon Force powers are insane. I've encouraged the Edge, if not for their canon crossover, where it failed to have solid information on Scooby and the gang. So, I guess it came down to their unique abilities, and for 90% of their arsenals, they were evenly matched. Transmutation, mind control, you get it. Neither could destroy the other's soul, Courage has only exercised demons, and Scooby's Sword of Fate does not target souls explicitly, and only destroyed the Sword of Doom, which vesseled the Black Samurai spirit. So it seems that neither of them could die, considering that Courage only exercises demons, and Scooby's Sword of Fate doesn't target souls explicitly. Man... This death bell certainly is perplexing. They're tunes with basically anything, except for the chest of demons and the dark matter meteor. Sure, the chest could theoretically always trap courage, but he'd always be able to escape and destroy it with the dark matter meteor. But Scooby could repair the dam. Does Mondo's magic pen, which is similar to the Dark Matter Meteor, was used to escape the chest of demons. Conversely, Scooby can undo the effects of the Dark Matter Meteor with his own abilities. So I guess that... 
there would be no deaths as long as Scooby had his chest of demons and Courage had the dark matter meteor. So, it's definitively a draw then. Well, it was a very entertaining battle. Uh, I can still give him credit for that. ...by reversing time and then trap him again. And then courage would break out again. You know where this is going. Ultimately, this battle between man's best friends would never end. But this is a death battle. So Results. Scooby-Doo equally strength, speed, and durability, similar abilities an arsenal positives street smart chest of demons negatives could not kill courage courage equaling strength speed and durability similar abilities and arsenal positives book smart dark matter meteor negative could not kill scooby so I guess there's no way to know who exactly won this battle considering that neither of them, you know, died. But there's still some time so uh, we better uh, know for sure uh, what will happen now. Somebody has to die. Someone did, Wiz. Yeah, someone did. Let me tell you that you're kind of scary sometimes. I don't like dog killers. Okay. Scooby and Courage were incredibly tough opponents that could go blow for blow for blow. They were smart, powerful, and incredibly broken. Dog got it, Wiz. I guess you could say Eustace had one hell of a rough day. I ship you not. Oh. Okay, then. Those were Stop. This battle is a draw. Congratulations, Scooby and Courage. Hi, I'm Ben. Voice of Wiz. Thank you so much for watching. We are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not a Death Battle member yet, click the join button below. See what you're missing. Next time. Ooh. Rick versus the Doctor. So that was Scooby Doo versus Courage the Cowardly Dog. And both of them are the winners. Well, this certainly was a very interesting battle, I'll give them that. And considering they did all of that hard work for a battle that ended in a draw, hmm, only goes to show uh, what only goes to show what exactly uh, you need to know for sure who is the superior opponent. But it's nice that they didn't kill each other and still remain friends. So everything's all good. Alright everyone, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.